Hi, so today we're going to be presenting La Stancia project uh, in La Romana in Dominican Republic. And um, it's the Arc Labs Archive 12 today. So um, this is the location on the Google Maps. This is the plot. Um, this is a diagram showing um, more about the project, but we're gonna jump into uh, the latest update of this project. Uh, it's a bit slow on this one. Um, so from this sketch, uh, I started developing, um, taking out uh, blocks to create voids that we were discussing, which is gardens and car parks. And um, this drawing still need to be developed. Uh, I'm just trying to show the stacking of it and how it is layered um, on the left-hand side in the exonometric view. As you see on the right-hand side, there is a huge, um, there's big uh, plots of greenery, uh, which we want to make as terraces and rooftops, but not as big. So still need to work on that. And um, in that case, we started looking at references of looking at slope proofs to, uh, because we're restricted by the height. We need the maximum height is nine meters. And that's the where uh, this started happening. Um, so we decided to make it two story with slope proof. So Namibia now going to present her uh, reference and research. Thanks. Yeah, based on the concept that they we're working on La Estancia uh, from the stacking order and the, some different blocks, uh, we uh, check like, we check um, three, three reference for the, at the moment. One is the Lego house. The second one is the, the interlace. And the third one is the urban reader. In this, in this one, uh, the Lego house, we export like few uh, a few key points of the project that we can have like uh, an idea to to adapt to our project too. One of them is that the Lego house brings the toy scale of the classic Lego brick to architectural scale uh, as it has represents the first sketch. Also, this project uh, is conceived as an urban space as much as an experience center. This part is really interesting because our project uh, La Estancia uh, in the public in the in the in the public space or the social spaces, we're looking for to engage like spaces that people can uh, connect to each other too. So this is one of the uh, of common things that we notice about this project and La Estancia too. Also, it's really interesting how the Lego house. Um, as a complex design, it is assembled by a dozen of simple objects. So in the Estancia, we in the in the Estancia comes that we can see for, um, before seeing the the final result as a complex at uh, at all, we could like take it from a really particular um, element to be able like to scale it up to create different uh, shapes, and that's what we're working on. Also, the Lego house design is based by the basic two by four Lego brick as the starting point. And also something interesting about this, uh, this project is that they treat like the two by four Lego brick as a golden proportion, like the Fibonacci sequence of golden ratio. So for the Estancia, it would be interesting to create our own proportion unit to create like the base of the concept based obviously on the stacking order. That is something like we really want to preserve. Uh, can continue to. Also after analyzing how is, uh, how is Lego house um, concept idea was the process of the design. Uh, basically they uh, center all the all these spaces 
it, as at the center of the capital of children based of the of the typology of the project and also in the second graphic here they first like prioritize where are where will be the the, the spaces that need of the needs to be contact uh, direct contact with the with the public area uh, um, and then after that uh resolve they place like in the center like uh the children's square in this case really interesting and it's really like common because one of the of the sketch we managed like before in the in La Estancia it was like the the void that we wanted to to keep and and in this project, we can see that that concept of the void in the center, like a hub for social activities support for for the people, is really like common. And also, uh, here in this project, like they, uh, stack each model, uh, in this case, uh, like a, every space is modeled, and also and and also each uh each elements. Everything is like in in the proportion of two by four, and at the end, one of the point that actually uh, uh, Isabel also uh, make a point is the the stairs of the project, because in this project something important is that the stairs that connect uh, the inside with the structure itself and the urban spaces is not just like a stair to go up and down but also is a form or is a, is a space to for people to, con to connect, to do some th something different. So it's really important for us to, to keep that in mind for La Estancia too. Uh, I'm gonna continue, please. Yeah, here's a, an image of the, of the top view of how this is talking uh, process of volume itself is, is a form. Uh, next, so after the research, after the research for Lego House, uh, there's a question that actually create like, oh, as a result, there's a question that we can think about La Estancia, and is why don't we actually play with our own Legos? In this question, we create like the uh, we establish a question like the le the question, so we can create our proportional blocks to play with the space. This could be some interesting concept for La Estancia. So we can have like uh, a basic model that could be like in a proportion, but that work for us in La Estancia. And we can work and play with that. Um, next. After Lego House, we also see the interlace this project also um, have a stacking uh, design, actually, in general. But this one is more residential as ours. But is, as um, Riam said, is, this one is uh, real, uh, way bigger than the La Estancia because we have uh, certain levers that we can uh, pass but in this case, something interesting that the interlace do is that they turn vertical isolation into horizontal connectivity. In this case, their problem was that they wanted to transform the idea of the tower, but not just creating um, multiple towers in vertical, but also they extended like in a horizontal uh, way. And also they configure uh, the all the all the uh, all the all the apartments all the blocks in a hexagonal pattern uh this hexagonal pattern makes it really interesting because they can move it they can turn it and they can create a, a really interesting form and 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 you run a, a connection between ones also, this project uh, is uh, one of the that represents this project is the atmosphere and, ident and identity that they give to each uh, space. 
uh, for each uh, social space and how they maximize the presence of nature because of the stacking order that they're using, um, most of the roof are really are designed to be gardens, to be a sky terrace and cascading balconies too. So they, they, they uh, in this project was, was uh, really important that to keep the nature, um, the percentage of the nature more than 100, uh, more than 100% and, and, and they really keep it, that, that idea, the nest. Um, for La Estancia, this really uh, caught out our attention because of the form and how they connect each, each block. And it's something that we can uh, uh, to adapt to our project and how we can connect each block uh, and to create like a, a, it feels like a tunnel, but it's not a tunnel, it's a block of, of building. So it would be interesting to have this in mind. Uh, we can continue. Here's a, an image of the site plan of the interlace. Here we can see how it, how everything that uh, I've said is like represented here. The importance of nature, the importance of each uh, uh, of of each social space and how it's connected to every block. Also, how the every block is in a hexagonal pattern, so it helps in the structure. Of, uh, in the structure, because each uh each one is connected by one column, like is here in the uh, in a gray one, last square grays. Though that is one of the the vertical uh circulation. So it's pretty interesting how they manage uh, everything here. And the next, well, finally to end here, uh, the interlace, here is where uh, they work on the vertical to horizontal perspective and how they turn like the columns, like we know to a hexagonal bottom. And here are the, um, the axis for each one. So actually, in this case, we can actually uh, to to adapt to La Estancia to from the first uh, from the first phase that we're working on this to create a mesh or a access uh, some some axis of form to know where in a specific points will be our blocks. So we in the future will know the, the important points for the columns. Uh, even though this is a conceptual um, uh, process, it is really interesting because here is just some blocks. Uh, and after we can uh, create like how will be distributed inside. And, and finally, oh well, this is an image of the of the general project. Uh, can go to the next. And finally, the reference is uh, Urban Reader, also by the Argingos Group. This one is really interesting because it's on a small scale. But the things that really caught my eyes about this project was the process design. Because here is a summarize of the diagrams they used. First, uh, well, this project is for is a residential uh, project. Uh, basically, uh, it's a residential project for students that live uh, near Copenhagen. But uh, this one is floating. Like, is uh, this one are floating because there I read that there they have like problems with some uh, overpopulation and and no. Uh, res a residential space for for people, uh, especially uh, uh, well, students at the university. So they create this uh this prototype from form of a housing. So they stack first nine uh, containers, but after this they are stacked. Uh, they create like a triangle. 
a form around a circle of the same uh, amount of, of containers. And after that, in the third image, they create like the circulation of the first of the second level. Because the first level that is the platform is par partially on the water too. But here that where is the the idea was like to connect that to be able to be connected to one point to the other. So in La Estancia, it could be interesting to create like this small uh like this micro connection between blocks uh on of each one and how it is uh distributed to. Uh, and on the image below. Uh, is how each on the second floor of the project is distributed and how the distance they working to have like a proper distance of it. And also how uh, each block has different views and half views actually. So any, any blocks doesn't have like anything like interfering in, into each other. And can pass to, to the other. And here's some image of the project. A top view and some uh, elevation, uh, a section too. But I really like how they turn like this kind of container of blocks in a really a small scale to this, uh, to this project. Because in Estancia, we could create like this micro space for people too. So, so it would be interesting. Something that I've seen like in common for most of the of the project that we've seen is that most of the of the blocks are arranged like or in in a circle way, even though it's a triangle or even though it's a hexagonal uh, form. So it could like could be easier to create like um, La Estancia kind of in this order to be able to create like on a structural way more efficiently, I think. So I think this was uh, the research. I really like this project actually. Uh, but I was gonna say, do you remember I showed this to you? Yeah. Yeah, because I had shown Namibia the Lego house as a reference, but I also showed this one to Ria and Namibia. Like I like um, this project a lot because it creates all of them, including the second uh, reference, the one in the second reference is obviously a way bigger scale. Yeah. So yeah, the I feel thing this one here works is more with our. Sorry. I feel this one works more with our uh, situation, and that is in the side rather than the other ones because mm -hmm. of the height. Because this one, if you look at it, is three stories, mm -hmm. and yeah. they're going upstairs, and that level. I think the one on the right hand side where the chairs are is higher than the green one or are they at the same level it's high i think they are the same level because they're containers here but oh no there's a, it's well, a bit it's higher yeah yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's other. yeah but yeah what i'm saying is that at some point you can have a, a third floor you know because we still have the height to have a third floor anyway yes but yes but i like this uh, i think we need to add some i don't want to Something that like kind of bothers me about how we've gone through the references, and I was going to say this, uh, because it all started with the reference for our old project for, what was that called, that project? You remember the one with the containers? Yeah, so, so, so I feel like it's hard to break out from like a container looking um, yeah. grid. And also, Namibia, uh, what you said about the repetition of the Legos, like the block standard sizes and everything, I had done that. Uh, earlier and I did them two and a half by five so that we have flexibility to fit parking spaces because obviously we need to have columns and we need to think about the parking space I I started working on a plan yesterday I haven't shown it I'm not showing it because there's nothing to it but I'm, I'm gonna consider adding the parking lots the parking space underground just one level and because Carlos, I didn't want to because I know that the client is not gonna like it but Carlos told me not to not to limit myself because of the clients, but I'm pretty sure he's not gonna like it. <laughs> and so and yeah, actually on the second uh, reference, uh, the interlace, 
they have the they have also one story below surface for uh, for parking space but something interesting that i saw some image about it that they don't like cover all the of all the space uh, they did like uh, a connection between the the ground floor uh, the ground floor of the landscape to the yeah. to the parking yeah. space so it's oh, really it's bright really uh under under mm -hmm. the the surface so it could be interesting to explore that see that's what i'm trying to create as well it's like if we have these spaces that say that you have something underground and then maybe this here becomes an opening so that you have like direct lighting to the to yeah. the parking Ex lot and yeah. exactly mm -hmm. yeah so we have a couple entrances and the stair that i I also was telling, go to the Lego house. Yeah, I was telling them maybe that maybe we can do like some sort of like nice stairway that you can, that becomes social area as well. So mm -hmm. go to the Lego house there. It's not, it's obviously not like this at all, but let's say that you have this. Yeah, let's say that you have something like this and then you have like the, the underground, right? And then you have a first floor, which is like where uh, the pool is going to be. One, two, three, and then maybe we have like a way that we can link something here and then like the way that it grows over here, even if it doesn't have to go to the third floor, but here we, we can start creating like deeper steps because this is like very squared and small, but I'm talking more as like wider steps or, or within the steps going up. Like uh, let's say if you're looking at it in plan and you have, wait, sorry, I'm gonna have to draw a square. What the fuck is this? Wow, this is so different in in the iPad. Okay, so I want to just answer. Like if you were, if you have a, like if you're looking at it in plan, por qué? Sorry. <laughs> and then maybe we have like a couple stairs here, but then we have like a wider thing here, and then we can have maybe like, this is not a very good drawing, but maybe we can have like a couple tables over here. And then underneath this structure is where we keep like machine room storage and everything that we don't want to, that we don't want to give like a lot of space to. So uh, I don't know if, I mean, I'm working, I want to work on the plan in the afternoon as well, but I think that, that the second reference, like I think that what you were doing was like the sea, like I really like the part where with the void that you have like in the plan. And I like that you have like those open spaces above. I just think that for the amount of apartments that we want to fit, we need to shrink them, like use a smaller scale, which I know you know, because I know you mentioned it uh, when we first started talking. But you see how, for example, you can, like there should be like near the social area, maybe we can have something like this. And if you look at it closely, there's always a way to yeah. go up, like look at this here. And then you can go up here and then there's a couple of ways maybe to get into what the, like to give like two important moments to, because I was also telling Namibia like, yeah, we can keep on looking at everything, but the project is not, is like a low, I mean, it doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to do a huge investment in this. He just wants to get like apartments and be able to sell, like create them and sell them. So um, if we do like two interesting moments and then we can do like, like, whatever apartments in a sense, not whatever, but like not the best, like coolest thing in the world. It will be fine as long as it has like one or two moments that are, well, at least two or three moments that are like interesting and like different. So the entire thing doesn't have to be like a stack up, like, like a stack up like this is, you know, but maybe we do have something like this and like the voids at a couple of moments. Okay. Um, yeah, I just feel like that resort project was leading. We went somewhere else uh, yeah. because it, it works on a um, kind of narrower, huge, less area. Yeah. And we are, no matter what, you know, so now we're trying yeah. to resolve not looking like luck. Um, can you I know just what? show honestly? So and then... At some point when you were doing the model, I was just gonna suggest that we worked with containers, like literally. It'd be like, why wouldn't you do just use containers? 
that they, that we're not able to win the Stancia because it is like a private and like enclosed golf club. So I don't think they let you like a model like built with containers no, because of the Did style. you know this? This one. Um, I yeah. really like the idea. I know that you don't like repetition, but repetition is part of design and it's a strong way of design, by the <laughs> way. It's one of one of design techniques. So yeah. in the in all of the projects that Namibia showed is that they've got a pattern and this one yeah no but don't get me wrong because i said repetition it's not that i don't like repetition is that i'm I'm not a fan of of this type of roof i'm not a fan of this i feel like it looks too like what, old school one? classic no no and in, in here because this one look i mean what they all repeated they've got a pattern and it's repeated that's what i'm talking about look this is all repeated yeah yeah but that that so, i don't um, mind we like, can do the same thing but not container it doesn't have, we don't want to do containers we will be do, doing uh steel steel work like what we discussed but um I, I, lo I really like this like how because you know we can we can manage this because we're already doing two stories and once we do the third one we'll have a flat roof but we are doing a pitch roof or sorry a slope roof we can do Two story and a half, like you, like you, we discussed. Uh, yeah. Amazing. But what I was saying, so okay, there's something important. When you do the two story and a half, what I meant with two story and three story is that not have them all be three story. Like let's say you do yeah, yeah, forty percent a two story and then sixty percent three story because we do need to fit the most amount of apartments as possible. Yes. So at some point, one of these like. One of these, let's say, modules, let's say that if you're doing something similar to this, sorry, let's say that one of this model is actually sloped instead of having a third floor and then the apartment in there could have like a mezzanine. So it could be a two bedroom apartment. Yeah. Like the larger apartments should could be in like a sloped mezzanine uh, area. Yeah. And um, then a single bedroom should be, could be in like three levels, you know. So mm -hmm. what I, I... In addition to, to that idea, we could also create like the model of the apartment first too and create like the partner like I mean each each of this model is I think one or two apartments. We can create like the model of us like okay, apartment with one bedroom will be like this model, two bedrooms will be this model, and then we can create like different shapes from that. See, well in the yeah, I just think that we need to, before we start doing like, so so obviously we need scale as reference, but when I first started doing it, when I started creating the plan, I was very invested in like taking these modules and like flipping them and rotating them and just having them be like the same module, but like in like sort of what you were saying, you know, and I think that the idea of the mass of the entirety of the building was lost. So that's why we are we were exploring like Riam was exploring with the sketches yeah. and like the main geometry as well, because yeah. when I started doing it by models, then it was hard. Like I mean, detailed models like saying, "Oh, oh this is a one bedroom, it's a two bedroom." Then it was hard to imagine the entire geometry. So I think that obviously, uh, there's a couple way to go. Say to go. I think that. We should try to uh, like think of the parking spaces as going in the bottom, like in the like at least partly um, underground floor, so that we can have more liberty of designing more apartments. Yeah, I think that would be a a, a safe way to start. So I've been working on the how do you zoom in? Sorry. I've been working on the diagram to help me. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, so I've done like this route where I'm showing the apartment build, the the plots and mm -hmm. the constraints and the residents where they're coming from. Uh, design program. So I'm showing voids, program voids, garden, car parks, and passage, and mm -hmm. program bars. I wish I just showed it to you in um, PDF. 
Yeah, it's better. So. Yeah. Okay, it's black and white. Sorry, just one. <laughs> it's taking too long. No, I do. Oh, here it is. No, not PNG. I want the actual session. Yeah, so um, if you see here. Mm -hmm. So that's the apartment building. Um, That's what we want. We want one yeah. bedroom and two bedroom, lots sizes and 24 plus apartments. Mm -hmm. And this is the design constraints that we have, which we already mm -hmm. done, which is the boundary residents where they're coming from, design program. Uh, these are the voids, and the program bars are like we've got a residential court, pool area, um, gym, and then the recreation mm -hmm. is where I, we're, we're trying to yeah you know, I like that. design these mm -hmm. areas with plus. greenery and yeah, vehicle parking for visitors and golf carts and the design restriction I'm trying to explain that the height problem and we resolved it as we're looking at mm -hmm. close to four different levels so let's say we, we can have maybe you know two different levels two story and three story uh and that's what we are settled on now so i haven't done much for, in terms of modeling i just left it as this sketch but yeah i just want to Which say I, i like that i like the way the sketch was going that's what, like i like a couple of moments of the slope too here as well yeah um, there are some moments where we it can be resolved but i am actually considering the car parks while i'm doing it where it's is yeah. under the building uh from the back from yeah where the i know I'm still, yeah, I'm still struggling to to think about that because I don't think that necessarily all of the parking have to be downstairs. The thing is that everybody here has a car. And most likely, if you go on the weekends and you go with, like, your kids or whatever, you take two cars. So the amount of parking spaces is a lot. And that's considering that we only have 24 apartments. Then if you if we get the idea that we have more than 24, we would need at least, like, 50 or 60 parking spaces. And then if you add up the golf carts for people that play golf, which is everybody that's going to be going there, then you need like at least 10 or 12 more spaces for golf yeah. carts. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to think of like, I, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I definitely don't want to excavate more than one ground, like my, one level of parking. I also didn't want to excavate the entire plot. Just do like half uh, uh, an underground level so that we don't have to like uh, excavate that much because it's yeah. very expensive to excavate. So so maybe I, I, I was thinking of this and maybe we could leave the parking spaces as you have them uh, and, maybe and have this one and have some apartments have like ground floor parking. Yeah. Maybe we can give it to like other like two bedroom apartments, which are way more like are going to be more expensive. So. So do you want me to start, because if I start modeling it, then I can start working on the plan immediately because in Revit, you, you we will have the plan roughly and you yeah. can see the floor area. I was going to ask you if you were going to be doing Revit or next. Yeah, it's just because I, I'm, I'm presenting on Monday and I haven't had time to do my admin ops project. So I'll be working on that tomorrow. Um, oh, you can... So not much on it. I haven't done much on this or uh, I'm not. Oh, I'm yeah, don't worry. Well. You can focus. Yeah. Yeah, you can focus on your Aminox. I want to, I, I don't know. I'm I'm struggling uh, with telling you to just like, okay, go ahead and model because, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, what if you model and then it's like, okay, no, you know, I don't know if it's easier for you. I, I like Max way better than I like Revit. I know that Revit gives you the best. Oh, but also Namibia uses Revit. Verdad, Namibia. Yeah. I don't have I don't have either because I only have a, a, an 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 app 
full computer at this moment. Yeah. So do you, we can resolve this in, in sketching and in drawing and scale. So for this one, uh, this one is based on the plan that you actually created. This one is still working on the plan that you created, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But I know I, I can like see like the street on the side, which yeah. is something that I like from the beginning I, do, I don't think he was very excited about it but I, I do I always liked it like the loop around yeah but I have a question I have a question uh, the next step is to create the, this uh, from 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 scratch or based on uh, uh, I'm kind of lost here in that no, aspect the next step I think that obviously we do want to have a plan and we have we want to have the spaces but we still need to figure out the general mass of the project. You know, I think you would gain more space if you actually close that loop, you know, at the back. But we mm -hmm. have a pool there, actually. In one of the spaces, if we can actually close it, so you, you, will, go, you will go up here and you can park you get before the pool, basically. That's what, I, that's what I just did, yeah. Yeah, you don't Instead go around. Instead of going all the way around, that's what I did yesterday when I was doing it. Instead of going all the way around, I was saying like, oh, what if you just take the same road back and forth? Because either, anyway, we still need to have like a seven meter, uh, uh, how do you say that? Like reverse zone for the car. Yeah. yeah. So if you have a seven meter reverse zone, you, you have a two way street. So we might as well just close the loop and have cars that are gonna park to the right, park to the right and, and the other ones to the left, to the left. So that's I did I did do that yesterday. I'm not. I need, that's what I'm saying. I need to work on it. I'm very fixed on the parking because I I feel like they are gonna be a tr a problem, especially when he says that he doesn't want to excavate. But because um, we're assuming that it's going yeah. So what what I will be doing, I think uh, it will be quicker to sketch and draw to scale. Um, I might be working on AutoCAD. So. I think. I mean, if you want, at this point, if you have to do your analogs, you can work on your analogs. No problem. Like obviously tomorrow, and and I think that we can. I mean, you have these sketches that you made during the week, and we can talk about them on Monday. You also have this diagram, which is new. Yeah. You can talk about that on Monday. Now, maybe it has the references, and then I'm going to try to get something. So if I do something and you have this page, and now maybe it has the references, I think we're good for Monday. And that way you can do your adminox, because I know that it's hard to get the locals and adminox in when you have, like, other problems. Yeah. And for this diagram, I just feel, because uh, I've done it as portrait, and uh, it's not fitting well. And uh, if I put it alone here in the, in the middle, or should I keep it like this? Because the layout looks great. I, I think that the layout looks great, but I also, um, I think I'm, I think that if you have this sketch all down here, you should try and think about it. I always, you know what, I always, when I'm working here for 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 Carlos, I always just take a this measurement and try to do something within that space because I know that the presentation is always going to be eleven by seventeen, you know. Yeah. So it, it's the easiest way to do it, like on the. I might change the diagram. The easiest way is like a landscape diagram. Yeah. That yeah. Would... Like I would just do this and like rotate yeah. it. I'm also gonna recommend something that you. I know he's going to say it, believe me, that I know. Like, he's going to say to try to not use, like, images from the from online. There's a couple of people, and you could just add. And, like, same with, like, the color. Just take, like, a color palette and do a couple of colors and repeat them. Uh, because I feel like this palette is different to this, and that there's a couple of black and white. Like, the tree, maybe you can just add, like, one tree and, like, do it yourself on Instagram, on Illustrator or, like, by hand and just put it there. Because he doesn't like uh, for us to use like images. Yeah, because you know the cube bit, the design program voids, I've done it myself. Uh, okay. Obviously, okay. I looked at an example, but I've done it myself because it, it needs to fit. But the people was. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
No, yeah, I, I see it. And that looks good. It's just that yeah. you're going to use, let's say, this too. Like this and this. It seems like they have two different color palettes. I would just ah. stick like to the pastels or to the strong colors. Just like pick one. Okay. Yeah. And add uh, them. Uh, it's just because I was trying to, actually, I was trying to work on your diagram. And then I created this yeah. one instead. I just I just went somewhere else. So I'm trying oh, to just... fix the pro the diagram, the first one. Uh huh. Uh, but I just uh, don't know. Don't worry, I can I can work on that one. But I do yeah. think that this is very successful as well. Like they're different to me. But you in know. in diagrams, I really can help to to do some. I really uh can do a few uh of the of the ideas that you have also yes so um i actually found some really nice examples i'm just gonna just gonna finish off with this and then i've got so many pictures on my desktop but i'll show you so these kind of mysterious examples that i yeah okay yeah yeah mm. yeah it doesn't and photoshop it's like a single and that's like for only one one flu actually a mezzanine there is a mezzanine there but it's called yeah a book corridor so maybe the angle i just need to work out the angle of the slope proofs because it was a sketch it was not um so i i do really like that how it's uh, yeah that's above like, and it they, feels like this is their own garden kind of mm -hmm. for sure and let's like, say that i like this like if you had this like this then you could have like an open loft bedroom here yeah and so, that's what i mean like maybe for the apartments that have two bedroom we can do like less footprints and then just add a slope roof and do a couple of ones that are loft style that would, yeah be, that would be like interesting would to uh, model it and then get a section out of the Revit model that will that will help I think if I have time yeah. tomorrow if I finish early I will start working on it for sure all right oh thank you that's it thanks bye bye